so in my last video i uh, downloaded and installed spiceworks uh, but uh, spiceworks was inst installed on port 9675 uh, if you want you can go to that uh, video and check that will happen uh, normally sp uh, sp spiceworks will install on port 80 but if there's a conflict like something is already installed then it will use the 9675 what happened was that on my server right here if you remember from the previous videos you would see that there's IIS installed so I uninstalled it and now port 80 is available so I'm gonna just quickly run the installation again and then we'll scan the network uh, let me move it everything to the screen here downloads spice works all right so you can see it better it's unpacking i tried like to, to assign it another port but then it will not load at all it will only working over there so i said okay uh, all right so you can see now it's giving us the port 80 we're gonna go with this one uh i'm only doing it because on a uh, there was some error that uh, it cannot search all the other soft uh, machines over there that uh, that I have to go and add the port uh, as an open port in firewall extent um, and do the exemption allowed all that so I thought why go to the trouble just uninstall IAS I'm not doing anything with that and uh, Get done with this one i could now uh, install a uh, spice box on any of the test machines and run it over there uh, i should do it just like if you remember servo was not working either when we tried that uh, but uh, since we are doing trial and error i'm gonna do it run it from this computer the server and see what's the difference is when if i s run it from a windows machine rather than a server machine so you see Spiceworks is uh, installing. Uh, one thing is that uh, you have to actually go to spiceworks.com and make an account for it to work. Uh, just go to that uh, uh, website and create an account. It's free. And unlike PDQ inventory, Spice works from the web browser. It works from the web browser. PDQ ha had everything in the soft software itself. So, all right. So now it's this one is the, this one is the email address and password uh, that we used on Spicework. So it gets authentication from Spicework servers. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. I gave it the wrong password. All right, so it's everything for me. What company you work for? Around that local. Let's give it that name. Uh, save. Now scan. Discover and monitor my devices. So again, I don't have any. I'm gonna uh, give it my credentials. That is local slash administrator. I don't know if. Uh, I should put dot local in there or not but uh, I found 14 devices so I found all the devices because I went ahead and ran all of them if you can see here everything is running uh, even the my laptop on the uh, I powered it on and plugged in the Ethernet cable and the other devices like it's uh, I think they are all uh, uh, connected to the router over there where is it right there so you see it's discovering devices it's zero percent done uh, uh, and it's running the uh, network scan we can click to see what it says so uh, can I oh I don't want to do that I would simply want to make it bigger to this size even this is too much but you see this is the scan process so we're getting all the login errors here of course some devices like that those devices that are not part of the network 
they will have uh, errors on it so let's see what devices are there uh, can we see them now i devices have login errors one server in, got inventory and this one fix issues we need to find fix issues issues being this is the router open okay my networks and devices let's click on what devices we have so this is windows 7 pc that's the virtual machine desktop uh windows 10 desktop and if we can see test machine it's showing that it's not connected well i know it's connected rescan port 80 is not port 80 is not open okay so basically what's happening is that uh, i think it's the firewall issue like the firewall has blocked the uh, ports and like uh, it only all of them they're showing that uh, yep so all of them we know they're online but it's showing this one like uh, it's not connected That's being it camera thing. Contacting device. All right, so you can see we pinged it. It responded. You know that the device is online. I think it's just the issue with the uh, firewall. Let's uh, give this theory. A test uh, so this is our test machine right here let's uh, check the firewall settings here firewall and the firewall connected advanced settings something says that ports or something I'm gonna I'm gonna pause the video here so I'm scanning again I think uh, I had used the wrong slash like uh, rather than to use backslash for the uh, admin um, for the domain I use the forward slash so it's scanning we're gonna wait for it and then I will show you how to how did I fix that so while I was doing this trial and error obviously this is not going to work on this for sure and this for sure because they don't this is the router this is the host computer and it does not have um, like it's not joined to domain you see that the red came over there now one by one it will server got inventory it uh, it already was uh, and maybe also because that uh, it's installed on server
it's not even giving any indication like which device is it uh, uh, doing the scanning right now I'm gonna pause the video here it's just getting uh, too long or we can if I do something else I'm gonna uh, resume it so you can see that uh, <laughs> the scan results I got is worse scan ever and I think this is uh, that Today. I so I think I got these settings somewhere here right there setting an inventory and I have to play with this one I think that's the issue right there let's save it and see uh, and then you have to click here so it's gonna scan everything in this range uh, all the uh, IP addresses and we know that everything is in this IP range start scan so I'm gonna give it a try to scan one more time and I'm gonna resume the uh, pass the video one more time uh, but that was it uh, you can see all the addresses there's 160 192.168.1 that is common on each uh, IP address so they are all in same range so it's gonna scan all of them with these this credential I think this time it should work because uh, I put the correct domain name and I corrected the um, backslash and I hope it works I'm gonna pause the video one more time here <clears throat> all right so you can see that it failed again uh, it failed was scan ever again so the login errors, uh, no login error. So it, um, if we can go and see what happened, like errors, uh, lack of credential, Pernix from collecting data, unsupported, and if we can see that, uh, I think I went on test. Uh, let, let me log into this one, and you will see. That I actually added the spice work rule over here. Um, it's enabled. So, what did uh, if we can properties? I enable the allow the connection enable, and that was the um, the rule was uh, like I added the port eighty port eighty right here, and so it's something else I think it's uh, with the server so I'm gonna go ahead and install it on, on the Windows machine and then run it I think it's, uh, it's just like server uh, I am not able to use it from this um, uh, server I so let's go and run it from uninstall here and install it on a, um, on a Windows machine so it's a fail <coughs> 